Since the 1970s, the European Space Agency, ESA, has held selections to find new astronauts, expand its astronaut core, and send them into space. Only last year, the latest class of ESA astronaut candidates was selected, and now they have been welcomed to the European Astronaut Centre in Cologne to start their training. The skill set that an astronaut should have is looked at since the selection phase. The selection criteria make sure that the candidate astronaut that then start the basic training have the proper skill set that we are looking for. You know that uh, they can be engineer, medical doctor, pilot. We need to bring them at the same level of knowledge and this is done and achieved through the basic training. Basic training cover a lot of aspects, cover all orbital mechanic, space engineering, history of space flight, uh, uh, for example, me media relation. We start training EVA, giving them uh, already a lot of knowledge on, the, on what is the science on the ISS, what type of science we do. This basic training takes 12 months, after which the astronaut candidate graduates as an ESA astronaut. They can then start the next part of his or her training, the pre-assignment training. So depending on when the assignment happens for the astronaut, we continue with training activities until they're assigned for a mission. This includes further systems training, vehicle training, robotics and EVA training, not just in Cologne, but also across international partner sites like the Johnson Space Center in Houston. And once they are assigned to a mission, they go into the assigned crew training, which takes another two years. The mission-specific training is really specific to the tasks of every individual astronaut. So that means we have different trainings for each astronaut depending on the specificities of the mission. They do a certain set of experiments, of payloads. They have certain tasks in repairing and maintaining the vehicle. They may go on an extravehicular activity. All that drives what we're training for. During this phase, the astronauts will also train as often as possible with their mission crew members, learning how to work together, sharing roles and responsibilities. Today, astronaut training is still mostly geared towards a six-month stay at the ISS, but with challenging ambitions for human spaceflight, training will change as well. Training will change a lot in the transition from the ISS to Moon and then beyond Moon. Mission on the Moon will be rather shorter than the one on the International Space Station, but what we are looking for are different skill set because they are going to explore the lunar surface. We want them to have geological skill and that's part of new training, especially ESA is implementing. For future missions that will go beyond Earth orbit, um, be it to the Gateway, be it to the lunar surface or even further out to Mars, what is more important and what needs to become more evident in training is training for the crew to be autonomous. The crew will need more technical knowledge, but will also need to have more tools on board and at their hands to deal with the situation and to thoroughly analyze the situation. While missions to the Moon and Mars might still be a long way off, this new class of ESA astronauts can dream. But most importantly, it is clear that they will be ready for whatever awaits them.